This short video series is called Rebuilding a Large Old Twin Cylinder Steam Engine, mainly because I will be rebuilding this old twin cylinder steam engine. In this first video, it's just a quick look at it to see how bad it is, and believe me, it really is bad. This one has just been painted up to sell. It was bought from the auction site that we all know and love, and it really is a mess. I cannot think of anything about it at the moment that's looking good. But this friend of mine asked me to have a look at it and see whether I could do anything with it. I suggested it would be good to be used as a doorstop, but anyway, on with the build. Shown on screen at the moment is an example of the wonderful pipework, all of which is going to be thrown away. As indeed are these really awful oil cups, none of which look the same. Looking at the engine in greater detail, the crankshaft actually looks OK, and the main support columns are not bad looking. The exhaust pipe is a mess just like the inlet pipe that's going to be thrown away too. I often find when working on these old steam engines that there is evidence of more than one builder and I think this is true in this case. It looks like the person who built the bottom end of the engine didn't actually get round to completing the top half of the engine. The flywheel's just come off some other engine, it's totally different and doesn't fit and it's horrible. So I'll sort that out later. How does it run? I'll put some air into it and have a look. Being careful not to lacerate my fingers on the sharp inlet pipe. I opened the air valve and the engine didn't run, so I used this device to get a quick rush of air to slam the slide valves onto the ports. The engine will not run in reverse because the pins that hold the expansion link in place foul the arms at each side of the expansion link. Here's the engine running in slow motion, and you can really hear the severe knock. This will need looking into. All will be revealed once I get the thing apart. Here is the pin that fouls when you're going to reverse. The pin is just pushed in, it's not fastened in, it's not bolted in. The whole thing is a joke. There are many leaks from the hideous piping. This really is going in the scrap bin immediately. The metalwork is also badly finished, very much a sort of file finish. And I don't want this. It's very visible on an engine of this type, so it's better that you make it look good. Look at the flywheel. It really wobbles. So there's a fair bit to do on this engine. More coming soon.